Hey, it's another cold winter morning in paradise, and this is episode five of our container build out, which is the foundation. So let's take a look at what we're gonna do. We have a company called Bramjack coming in to put in the helical piers. And you can see the outline here of the eight piers that we're gonna put in today. Each one of these piers has a safe working load of 30,000 pounds. So we are going to have a maximum, well that's a 2 to 1 safety factor also, so each one of these piers is really 60,000 pounds. But the working load limit is 30,000 pounds for each one, so we're going to have a maximum weight of 120,000 pounds for each of the two shipping containers. The reason we're doing helical piers instead of a poured concrete foundation is because this will have a down and up load limit of the same weight so it will also resist being pulled out of the ground at uh, 30,000 pounds or technically 60,000 pounds um, per pier. So I'm going to double check the measurements here and uh, the guys will be here any minute to start drilling. So this is very exciting for us. We've been planning this for probably three years, uh, just over three years. To see it come together now is <laughs> it's, it's really astonishing. All right, we're getting ready to put in the first pier here. This is the corner of the building. And we're starting in this and going in that direction. So I'll get some video of the actual hydraulic machine driving this in. We got four of them done. They're working on the fifth one. We just did. We just double check square. These are all straight in line like they're supposed to be. We're just double checking square over there to make sure everything's right and all looks good. So these are going in about. This one is actually the most shallow. This one's in about eight feet, which isn't really as far as it should be, uh, but it's about eight feet to here. And then this one's more like twelve. These are three piers each, so this is also about uh, 13, 14 feet, something like that. The two guys in the red shirts are telling him which way to go to make sure that the pipe is straight up and down from their perspective, because he can't see it very well. The guy in the black shirt is looking at the pressure gauge, so he knows when it has reached the desired pressure, and then uh, essentially that is how much force it can hold, is how much uh, driving force it takes to drive it in. They do a little bit of math, and that's how much weight the pier will hold. They keep putting extensions on until it refuses, what they call refusing, meaning that it will not uh, go in any farther, or the pressure that it takes to turn it is higher than the needed capacity. So this is what our piers look like. The soil here is not very deep, so they only have two helicals on the pipe. Now the rocks and things can move them around so we're checking to make sure this is going to be square since th there's a degree of precision needed for this we need to just be within an inch so we're double checking and triple checking. Alright, this is number eight. This is the last one. We got all eight piers in. They're all different heights now. We're gonna cut them all to level. Alright, this is with all eight piers done and leveled. You can see there's quite a bit of a slope off. These are all leveled with the caps and that's about a foot and a half to two feet higher than the uh, closest to the ground corner which would be this one. I was gonna say the highest corner but they're all level so none of them are higher than the others. Well I've got a lot to do and it's starting to get late so I am going to stop it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. If you do a thumbs up or like is appreciated or subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Friday.